Hey guys, how are you? This is Brave and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install mods in your Zealith launcher and it is pretty easy. So if you are new on my channel, don't forget to subscribe and like and without wasting any time, let's get to the video. To install the mods in Zealoth Launcher, first you have to install a fabric version of the game. So just click on the version that you will see on the main screen. And after that, you have to click on the install new version. Just click on it here and then you have to download a version from here. So you can download any game version. I will be going for the 1.21.4. Just click on it and then you have to come down and here you have to install the fabric. Just click on the fabric and select the latest version and also just click on the fabric API and select the latest version of the fabric API from here. Click on it and then name this version of Minecraft whatever you want. So I will just name it like test version and then I'll click on done and click on the download button you will see on the right corner. Just click on it and it will start downloading the fabric version. So just wait for it here. And yeah, it has been downloaded and now it's being installed. So just wait for it to do be installed and yeah. So our fabric version has been installed. You can see it when you click on the game version and you will see the fabric version below the main game version. So just select it and now come back, click on return and then click on the settings here, like the settings button you will see on the right side of your game version. Just click on it. Now you have to click on the mod management, click on it and you will see the fabric API as a mode here that we downloaded along with fabric version. So just leave it here and now you have to download mods. So to download mods, you have to click on the download arrow you will find below in the right bottom corner. Just click on it and it will take you to the screen from where you can download the modes. So from here, you can easily download the modes any mod you want. So I will just search here the mode I want to install. So now there are three things you have to do here, okay? If you want to see your modes in game, like in the mode menu that how many modes there are installed, like how many modes you have installed in your game. So to see the mods in game, you have to download another mode called the mode menu. So first we will download the mode menu mode. Just click on it and search here mode menu and done and now you have to go down and you will see the mod menu here just click on it and now wait for it to load and now you will see the different versions of the mod here so you have to like scroll down until you find the green one like you can see here this version is highlighted in green so this is the version we have to download if it is not on the like top, you can find it below. Just scroll scroll down and you will find the compatible version. So mine is just on the top. I will just click on it. Now, you have to click on the latest version. will be on the top. Just click on it. And now here are the few dependencies that we had to download if you want to use the mode menu mode. So you have to download these two things. So just click on the first one, text placeholder API. I will just click on it. And it will take me to the screen, like to the placeholder link so here is our placeholder api mode so now you have to like scroll down and you will see your compatible version highlighted in green so just click on it and click on the latest version and confirm it after that when you click on the confirm it will automatically download and install your mod so just click on confirm and it has been installed now you have to come like come back just click on return again return and here you are back on the mode menu screen where you have to download the mode menu mode so just again click on the latest version and now you have to download the fabric api so just click on it and now you have to uh, click on your compatible version which will be highlighted in green just click on it and install the latest version of the fabric api which will be on the top click on it and click on confirm and it will install and download mod so just wait for it and it has been installed. Now click on return again, return. And now you have to click on the latest version of the mod menu. And now you have to just click on the download mode 
menu because we have already downloaded these two dependencies. So just click on download mode menu and now click on confirm and it will install and download the mode menu. So it has been installed. Now come back and now search here, sodium mode. I will download the sodium mode as an example. So just click on sodium mode and then click on done. Search the sodium mode and you will find it on the top. Just click on it. And now you will find your compatible version below. Just scroll down it and your compatible version will be highlighted in the green. So just click on it and now click on the latest version and click on confirm. It will be downloaded and installed in a second. And it is done. So just go to the return. Just click on return, return and return. And we are back. So just click on the home icon and you'll be back to the main menu. And now here is our fabric version that we downloaded. Now just click on the settings again and click on the mode management. You will see all the modes that we downloaded along with the mode menu and sodium, as you can see here. Now just go back, go to the home. And as you can see, we have selected the fabric version. Make sure it is selected and return. And now let's launch the game. Now here you have to just click on no more reminders and click on confirm and your game will launch. You have to wait for the game to load. It will take some time. Now, as you can see here, our game is starting right now and let's wait for it to load. And here we are in the game. And as you can see here, our mode menu is working. You can see the modes folder here. Without the mode menu mode, you can't see this here. And you can't see the modes you have installed. So the mode menu mode is important. Just click on it and you will see the modes we have downloaded. As you can see, the sodium mode that, that I downloaded as an example. And here is the mode menu client mode that is allowing us to see these modes. So yeah, now just click on single player and I will create a single player world. As you can see here, we are here in the game and yeah, it's working. The game is running fine as expected. And if we like check the mode settings, so you can see here, our modes are working fine. The sodium mode is working here. And like if I go back and I click on the options and I click on the video settings, you will see the interface of the sodium mode here. So yes, our sodium mode is working perfectly, as you can see. Now, this is the way you can download any mode you want. As you can see here, our sodium mode is working fine. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. I will make sure to reply and sort out any problem you guys are facing. And yeah, this was today's video. If you want me to make any other video on Zalith launcher or any launcher, you can ask me in the comments. And this is it for today. See you guys in the next video. Till that, have a nice day. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe.